on, guys. What is going on guys, my name is Faze Jester, welcome back to a brand new video, finally, 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 we have another work art video, um, today we're going to talk about ads, but I just wanted to mention real quickly before we start the video, is that I'm currently working on my own website, I am doing personal training from the start of October, I am very, very hyped to start working with you guys, I hope you guys are hyped too, but now let's just focus on our abdominals, our six pack, and if you have any problems, I, hopefully I can help you with uh, setting up your ab workout routine. So usually I do try to train abs two or three times a week. Obviously you also hit your abs with exercises like deadlift, with squats, with overhead press or anything component wise, you always kind of use your abdominals. It keeps you steady. It's your, your, the primary function of the abs is breathing. So you always keep breathing. So you're always kind of using the abs. But when it comes to ab training, I think it's very important to know that the six pack, the showing six pack is also a combination of diet stuff. So, um, yeah, abs are made in the kitchen, but it's also very good to keep working them out. The first exercise I always do is a hanging something. So a hanging leg raise, hanging knee raise, a hanging um, weighted hanging leg raises or knee raises because it really stretches out the whole abdominal section. And um, I think that's a perfect way to start. So you, you stretch it out completely and then you go from there. Always start out with weighted stuff. Um, it's obviously the heaviest, you have the most energy then. So uh, I definitely recommend doing the heavy stuff first. Another heavy exercise uh, with weights is this cable crunches, which is by far the best exercise you could do for your abdominals, in my opinion, by the way. Um, with this exercise, it is very, very important to pull through your elbows. Don't do anything with your arms or anything. Um, go from like, uh, uh, straight back, curl it up, and make sure you squeeze through the abs. And, and breathing is also very important. As I said, the, the main function of the abdominals is breathing. So when you breathe in really well and breathe out really, really well, uh, when you squeeze, it also, you know, you're gonna feel extra, extra hard. This is another weighted exercise you could do. Uh, I don't know, I'm really sure this is like a, like a dumbbell laying crunch or something. I don't know. This also really hits the top part of you uh, for, of your abs because you're going forward uh, with your shoulders and your head towards your knees. So very great exercise. Then we have some um, some exercises without any weights that you could do. And uh, this is a little variation of the plank. This is with a medicine ball. I think these are called or like half a medicine ball. Um, do it under your arms or under your feet. Um, it just adds a little component of making sure you don't wiggle, making sure you're stable, uh, which will work uh, your abs extra well. And stability is uh, one of the also one of the functions of the abdominals or like the core in general. So it's very good to do that. Um, try this out. It's it's uh, pretty tough. It's tougher than a normal plank. So when you just do normal planks and you're just kind of like, ah, oh, this is kind of easy. Try to do this or try to add, add some weight on your back. Um, yeah, as I said, you could do it with your feet. Uh, I personally thought it was harder to do with my feet because you have to uh, place your feet correctly, which um, once you have it done, as I see, um, my feet are placed like shoulder width-ish. Um, otherwise, it was even harder, but it's like kind of annoying. So this was perfect. Make sure you keep your back straight and keep, go as low as possible, obviously, and uh, make sure you do it correctly. Um, usually, I do like for like a minute or a minute and a half, and then three or four sets with plank. Uh, I think that's the that's a good range. If you uh, it's if it's too easy, add some weight or make it more different uh, difficult for you. Um, then and also this is a very easy exercise: the leg raises, laying leg raises, and also a little variation as you can see on the screen uh, on the last part I kick up my legs um, while doing that I breathe out really heavily and I really can feel the top out of my abs so the top the, the top two abs are like um, harder to hit in general um, but kicking up your feet will really help you hit that um, and then the rollout I always try to finish up with rollouts because when you did the weighted stuff you, you squeeze and you put a lot of pressure on the on the muscle and like it's like very tight and then the last one with rollouts you completely stretch it out like you completely ruin everything uh this is gonna make you feel like completely shit and it's gonna burn and it's gonna hurt very very much 
but I feel like this is the perfect finisher for uh, for an app training. And as I said, I do this two or three times a week. Um, it's not as important to do like five or six times a week. It's again, it's a muscle, so it needs time to recover as well. Um, so, but yeah, with the rollouts, as you can see, my nose is not touching the floor. That time it was, you can see my nose. It's kind of funny. I might edit that so it's zoomed in. But I try to go as low as possible without touching my nose to the ground, and then I know I'm going far enough. If you have trouble with this, um, it is a hard exercise, so you might not be able to do it at first. Um, try to go a little bit less far and, and, and build up from there. You don't have to go all the way flat because some people just can't do it, uh, especially at the beginning. So, um, but yeah, my app training, I start out with weighted stuff and then I do some stability stuff and then I finish with like a full stretch exercise, like a rollout. Um, the next time I will also focus a little bit more on the sides because this is more like the, the six pack abs you, the, the six pack you see on pictures and stuff. It's not really the obliques, not really the serratus. Uh, we focus more on the midsection of the abdominals. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And again, online coaching is coming very, very soon. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of it. And I'm really excited for it. So uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.